This video is designed to help you start a plastic recycling business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's a plastic recycling business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful plastic recycling business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. A thorough market research is required if you wish to start a plastic recycling business. The recycling business is relatively new and has yet to receive significant attention, hence, it is preferable to conduct an in-depth study on the market, its functions, and objectives to understand their work better. You can break down your study into pieces and begin by reading papers and articles to examine data. Later, for your research, visit current recycling businesses, fill out questionnaires, meet with advisors, and get answers to your questions before laying out your plastic recycling business plan. If you plan on starting a plastic recycling plant, you must first learn about the many forms of plastics. The following are the most common types of plastic that you should be aware of, polyethylene terephthalate, PET or PET, high-density polyethylene, HDPE, polyvinyl chloride, PVC or vinyl, low-density polyethylene, LDPE, polypropylene, PP, polystyrene, PS or styrofoam. Choose a location and obtain a license. Now that you have set your goal of starting a plastic recycling business, it's time to choose a place. You must select an ideal location for your firm to be established. Ideally, a warehouse, or plant with enough room to accommodate your equipment and machinery, or an industrial area not in a congested neighborhood, will be a suitable locations. You'll be able to link with additional businesses, making sales easier, and you'll have a steady supply of electricity, water, and transportation, to keep your recycling operation running efficiently. Recycling Equipment After you've obtained the papers, you may begin investing in plastic recycling equipment such as separators, shredders, sack stitcher, breakers, a pre-washing system, granule makers, a rinse system, and dryers. The selection of machinery and equipment is critical to make the entire operation run smoothly and enhance production. Promote your business Once you've put everything in place and your firm is up and running, you'll need to market it to potential customers. It is critical to market your business, and promoting a firm like this would necessitate assistance from local non-governmental organizations and volunteers. Plastic recycling business promotion can be done both online and offline. To raise awareness, you can construct a website, print brochures, and distribute them. Putting it on all of the social media platforms would also help encourage others to participate. Cost of starting a plastic recycling plant Setting up a recycling plant will require some investment. The areas of investment, machinery, transportation and logistics, raw material, installation, and other miscellaneous expenses. The cost of a good quality waste plastic recycling plant will be in the range of $50,000 to $1 million. How profitable is recycling plastic business? If you recycle 500,000 pounds of plastic scrap in a typical year and the tipping price is $50 per ton, you will save $100,000 in tipping costs alone. Using a 20 cents per pound median scrap price, the 1 million pounds of scrap plastic has now earned a gain of $100,000. Plastic Recycling Process Now that we've learned how to establish a plastic recycling business, and why it's important to recycle plastic, let's move on to the next step. Let's have a look at how plastic is recycled. Recycling plastic has vastly improved in recent years, and may be divided into five distinct stages. Stage 1. Collecting the gathering of post-consumer materials from homes, malls, schools, businesses, institutions, and other locations, is the initial step in the recycling process. A municipal government collects this recycling either directly or through a waste disposal contractor. Recycling centers are another method of collection, where the trash disposal contractor collects the material, and puts it in a plastic recovery facility. The plastic collection is essential for the recycling system to function properly. The more recyclable plastic collected, the more products can be recycled and repurposed into new goods. Stage 2. Sorting After the collection procedure is completed, the collected plastic must be sorted. Because not all plastic can be recycled, it is critical to separate recyclable plastic from non-recyclable plastic. Other factors such as color, thickness, and application, must also be considered when sorting plastics. Sorting takes place in the material recovery facility. This debris may then be sent to a plastics recovery facility, PRF, for further sorting into various plastic types. Various techniques are used to sort the plastic, such as manual picking, trommels, 
old corrugated cardboard screening, ballistic separator, magnet separator, optic sorting machine, sink float separator and so on. Stage 3, Cleaning. Cleaning is an essential stage in the plastic recycling process, because it removes contaminants that might hinder or damage, a batch of recycled plastic. Cleaning makes the rest of the procedure go more smoothly. Impurities such as product labels, adhesives, debris, and food residue, are typically targeted in this stage. Stage 4, Shredding. Shredding or grinding plastic into tiny flakes, is an important step in the recycling process. Based on the shredder's classification and procedures, the plastic is shredded in various ways. Any leftover contaminants can be cleaned by breaking down the plastic into tiny pieces. Before choosing the plastic to make new products, these plastic components are evaluated for class and quality. Stage 5, Extruding. The shredded plastic particles are turned into a viable product for manufacturers in this final plastic recycling process. Extrusion is the technique of melting plastic and pressing it through a machine called an extruder. After the shredded plastic has been melted into pellets, it's sold to manufacturers. The next part of the video is not specific to a plastic recycling business. Nevertheless, this knowledge is essential for success in the plastic recycling business, as well as in any other business. Ignore it at your own peril. Operating a successful plastic recycling business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4. Basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills, and techniques, if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer, with many employees, and millions of dollars in equipment, to the lone window washer, with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills, required for these two extremes, are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas, from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis For a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money, in any business venture. The following questions, will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market, and determine if your product or service will sell. This brief exercise will give you a good idea of the kind of market planning you need to do. An answer of no, to any of the questions, indicates a weakness in your plan, so do your research, until you can answer each question with a yes. 1. Do you know who your customers will be? 2. Do you understand their needs and desires? 3. Do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? Six. Will your promotional program be effective? 7. Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? Planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function. They are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. 
Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan, based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, and receivables? Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? Do you know what financial reports, should be prepared, and how to prepare them? Finances. A large number of small businesses, fail each year. There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs, try to start and operate a business, without sufficient capital, money. To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, how much money will you need to start your business? You need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items, you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question, how much money will you need to stay in business? Must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available, to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses, on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include, your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes, maintenance, delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses, and multiply it by 3, this is the amount of cash you will need, to cover operating expenses for 3 months. Deposit this amount in a savings account, before opening your business, use it only for those purposes listed in the above list, because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs, to the total expenses for 3 months, you can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for 3 months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses, is to estimate your sales volume, month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup, the primary source of revenue in your business, will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month, because of seasonal patterns, and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection, will show if the monthly cash balance, is going to be subject to such factors as the following, failure to recognize seasonal trends, excessive cash taken from the business, for living expenses, too rapid expansion, and slow collection of accounts, if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running a plastic recycling business, is a continuous learning process. Research your idea, and do as much as you can, yourself. But don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free plastic recycling business plan gift. Go to the description below this video, to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, like, and hit the subscribe button, for more videos like this.